got a central quad tear here. What do I want to do? Well, I want to unload the extensor mechanism. So here's what I'm going to do. With any of these things, you can create power bands. We're going to do that here in a second for one of the tapings. But for now, I'm going to show you the sort of layered effect of what you can do with dynamic tape. Now, first taping basics. You do want to round the corners. Uh, they catch on clothing. And uh, they're fun to pick at. And you can just do the best you can to round them off. You can kind of fold it over, and that does it, does it quickly. Do the same over here. And if, uh, it, with, particularly with this taping, you, if you just quick, sharply rotate and then kind of almost end vertical, you get a nice smooth round corner. Uh, and that way they don't pick at it too much. With the knee, I want to maximize the mechanical advantage of the quad mechanism. So the quad obviously is four muscles that feed into the patella. The patella actually acts as a mechanical lever to give it an advantage for the extensor mechanism. Our hamstrings don't have that, that same mechanism on the back because as it comes up and comes down, that creates a pulley system and it actually makes it stronger. When you do tapings going around the kneecap like this, you could cross the joint with, say, kinesiology tape. The only issue is, is you're not maximizing the mechanical advantage of the patella. We're going to use that to make this an effective taping. The other thing you have to watch out for 